Hey guys, it's Jana, and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So in this episode, we're gonna talk about composition and the rule of thirds. And I have three tips that I think are gonna really be something simple that can help you a lot in your photography. So let's start with the first one. So one of the, the biggest things that I see in photographs, and I'm guilty of it too, is that uh, we get so caught up in the moment, and especially when we're photographing people, we're like, oh, it's, you know, we want their expression, and then we forget to look at what's right behind them, right? So right now, it's probably really pretty. Like, there's, you see mountains, and it's light, and it's so gorgeous, but if you were to take a photo right now, which I'm gonna ask Tim to take a photo of me, you're gonna see that there's probably gonna be like a branch sticking right out of my head. So, um, Tim, do you mind taking that photo? <laughs> Awesome, cool. Thank you so much, Tim. So Tim, so we just showed a photo that Tim took of me in this beautiful location, uh, but if you notice, there's a, like a tree coming out of my head, or there's the limbs or the green things back there are kind of coming out of my hat. So while it's not like a horrible picture, we just wanna show you what it looks like when you step one foot to the right. Like maybe, I mean, maybe this is three feet to the right, but it's a very small adjustment. But now we're gonna show you the photo of what it looks like, just if we just pay a little bit of attention to, to what's going on. So here's what it looks like if we just move like a little bit to the right. So the second one looks so much better and it's just cleaner, it looks like a painting, I think. So the tip is just to really pay attention to what is coming out of the back of your subject's head or in between them or stop signs are the worst. You know, I do a lot of like fashion street style stuff during the week and a lot of times I'm like, oh great photo, but then there's a stop sign like totally out of their head. So just really watch that because I think it makes a huge difference. It takes your photos from good to great. Uh, the second thing I wanna talk about is the rule of thirds. So um, basically uh, what the rule of thirds is, is just making sure that when you're photographing something that the subject isn't like right in the middle. It just feels better for whoever's looking at the photo, for your focal point to be a little bit off center. So there's four places in your frame that you could focus that it's gonna just make your picture a little bit more interesting. So whether you're you know, new to your DSLR or you are transitioning into having your own business or, or any of those things, photographing your kid, taking a picture with your iPhone of your child, anything, using the rule of thirds, it's gonna just make it a little bit more interesting. So in this photo, you can see that Tim just like automatically put me off, um, didn't keep me in the center because it just becomes a more interesting photo to look at. And the third uh, tip that I'm gonna give you, I love, I think it's really important, you don't have to use it. But for me, I choose to use the single focal point. So I use the Canon 5D Mark III. So um, I have a choice of whether I can, you know, I can change my focal point when I want to change my focus. But for me, I always use the center focal point, number one, because it's the strongest and being my things being in focus is really important. Um, and number two, that's just how I work. That's how my eye goes. I go focus and then I recompose, focus and recompose. Um, on the back of your camera, there is a button that says AF-ON. Um, when you focus your camera, if you push that button in, then it's gonna lock focus for you even better before you recompose. So now it's like second language to me or whatever, you know, I'm like focusing, recompose, focus, focus, recompose. So I focus, lock, recompose, focus, lock, recompose. So those are the three tips. It's just about really paying attention to your composition, like what's going on behind you, what, um, you know, what's coming out of the person's head. Use negative space, that's a really cool way to, uh, add some interesting composition, you know? Have your subject all the way to the left and have like a big uh, wall that's just full of negative space. It's all about the feeling that, that you want to uh, represent. So um, also using the rule of thirds, whether you're taking a picture with your iPhone or, you know, or if you're a professional photographer, just using that rule of thirds is always gonna make it a lot more interesting. And a personal tip that I like to share with people is just to use that center focal point, it's the strongest one that's gonna ensure that your um, things are gonna be in focus. And then to use this button to keep it on lockdown, 
So um, cool. Thank you guys so much for, for tuning in. And as always, you can check out the blog, JanaFromAlabama.com, Jana Williams Photography Blog, uh, Facebook, Jana Williams, Instagram, Jana Williams Photo, Twitter, Jana Williams. Um, and yeah, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. This is awesome. And it's a beautiful day in California. Thank you, Tim. Cool. All right, stay inspired, you guys. Thank you.